Welcome back guys this is Shuman Bhattacharya John Bhia Pap Shamus Balaji and we are talking about how to crack CSI and NET pretty easily it's not kind of easy but we'll be trying to solve it now we have discussed about uh, the question paper that is going to come we have discussed about the ex uh, the particular examination that we are going in so once you learn the the type of exam that is now this video is about uh, the parameters to to crack csi and net and what is the mark uh, safe side to to catch csi and net right so marks distribution and and uh, safe marks to get csi and net or qualification let me write qualification requirements so qualification requirements according to the number we can say that uh, usually what we need to do you need to qualify group a anyhow and group b so let let me write group b is there and group c is also there right it's always yeah group c is also there so among group a what we need to do we know that group a there are uh, you need to answer 15 questions in group b you need to answer 25 sorry you need to answer 35 questions and group c you need to answer 25 questions only now uh, the number of questions you need to be correct to get this answer that among this group a if you successfully answer 10 questions in group b i'll recommend you to successfully answer 25 questions and in group c i will recommend you to go go through 15 questions these are safe side the most safe side way otherwise what you need to do the marks distribution that is there is let me write those mark distribution for group a it is 30 for group b it is 70 for group c it is 100 now the number of marks you need to get to pass through this exam 50 percent is kind of safe so for group a you need to score 16 for group b you need to score kind of uh, kind of let's say 36 and group c you need to kind of get 50 so so the marks uh, that we need to get here is like that so actually if, if you get 16 at group a 36 at group b and 50 at group c you successfully can qualify so so ultimately for for getting 16 marks uh, for group a you need to answer 8 to 10 successful good questions at least 8 and you need to answer at least 18 questions in group b and in group c you need to answer uh, let's say four marks each so So it is 52, so 13, 13 to 15 questions, right? So it's kind of it, guys. So if you answer a successful answer, obviously, if you confirmly answer 8 from group A, 18 from group B, and 13 from group C, you are qualified for CSIRJRF. That's it, guys. So that's it. That's that's the, the cal calculation kind of easy because you can see the number of questions that are given, the number of questions that are provided to you are huge that is 5 and 75 questions you need to give and you need to answer only 26 29 39 questions so let's say 40 questions so if you successfully answer 40 questions out of 75 you are there qualified qualified for net that's it you are qualified then right that's it guys you're getting qualified if you solve 40 questions out of 75 but remember this 40 questions should should be correct so you should correct these 40 questions and confirmly answer these 40 questions right so that's easy guys 50% of the questions are right you are there that's easy but people can't get there through because the questions are kind of complicated and it is coming from vast majority of sections and I'm, I'm telling you that those people which who know basics very well is going to qualify this so that's it